when it comes to mana skin i've reacted quite a few times and on occasion i've married it with a video i felt justified the song and highlighted the powerful lyrics the one thing about mana skin is they never fail to surprise me with the most in-depth emotional lyrics when it comes to writing something that just touches you and when i had seen this video and i had kept this particular video and it, it's actually called loneliness it's a short film i went back to this particular video i played the mannequin song and i said this is a marriage made in heaven it, i need to do a new visualizer to be different from all the other reactors i don't want to be the same the same the same i like to be different on my channel so to all maniskin fans yes it is the song but it's to a video that i have selected and i hope you approve when it comes to the song itself there's quite a bit to say about it to be honest on september the 21st um in 2022 maniskin posted on their social media accounts a video featuring a letter with cursive writing on the focus on on two words the loneliness along with the video the band had announced a new single from from the band was set to be released in october two days later the band officially announced the title of the song the loneliness the loneliness has a strong emotional charge they say being a cross between a love letter a farewell and a will that's what you would say to people you love when something good ends they are important lyrics for us and they express a message of universal love now looking at the lyrics i have to say everybody it's going to take me a small synopsis because i feel we, they're very relatable there's nothing out of the ordinary that we can't relate to but like everything else it's a bio channel and once i read the lyrics i realized it explores themes of sadness it explores themes of longing loneliness and damo expresses that you know the other person when he's singing the song is the saddest part of them a part of them that can never truly belong to them i feel it's about a one-to-one -one relationship where you look at somebody you wish but it never really happens that kind of thing and you feel trapped in your emotions knowing that tonight will be the loneliest night despite the pain the person they are addressing is still the oxygen they breathe how beautiful the oxygen they breathe that just came to me there the one who haunts their thoughts even when they close their eyes and Damo contemplates <coughs> excuse me the fragility of life in these lyrics and this this particular song and expresses a desire to spend whatever time they have left with this person so i kind of feel you know they know it's coming to an end it's not about a person i feel that's dying i feel it's just the relationship has has come to an end but they're going to hold on to any special moments that's left and i can relate to that you know i've been in a relationship where i thought everything was amazing then when it fell apart because we were totally totally two opposite people i really wanted to do things to go out of the relationship knowing i did my very best if that makes sense and that's basically what i did but we'll get back to the lyrics and the meanings straight after and what i'm going to say is i'm going to give you this the italian rock band composed of four musicians demio david the lead singer victoria de angeles who plays the bass Thomas Raji, the guitarist, and Ethan Torchio, who plays the drums. When they were releasing this particular song, it was described within the, the last month the musical act had come together to cre create yet another well received song. And it was this particular one, The Loneliness. They described it as a tune that deviates from the band's previous upbeat tracks 
it was released in previous albums where other songs might suit a happier situation. This one embraces the melancholy of the lyrics, accompanied by a music video that also complements the mood. But I've chosen a new visualizer, a new video, because when I looked at this particular video, it was me. I was in that place, like this guy, just thinking. You, you'll understand when you, when you hear it. Then when I read the lyrics of Man of Skin, I thought, I have to marry this. I'm doing the song um, Justice in honor of Man of Skin. And then the tune can be interpreted as Demio mourning over a lost relationship and presents the general theme of loss interpreted best by, by us who's listening. With all four members attending a mystery person's funeral in the original video, the overall gothic vibe and sad atmosphere given by the music video helps land the tune in the fans' hearts. Now, I also hope this does the same. There will never be mine. It's obvious. Tonight is gonna be the loneliest. Yes. You're still the obsession I bring. I see your face when I close my eyes. It's Tonight is gonna be the loneliest. There's a few lines that I of death, that's what I want, that's what I want, so don't be sad when I'll be gone, there's just one thing I hope you know, I love you so, cause I don't even care about the time I've got left in the See it. Tonight is gonna be the loneliest You'll be the saddest part of me The part of me that will never be mine It's obvious Tonight is gonna be the loneliest You'll feel the oxygen I breathe I see your face when I close my eyes It's not you Sorry, but I gotta go If you never miss me, give me so And now to go And I just keep on thinking how you make me feel better And all the crazy little things that we did together In the end, in the end, it doesn't matter If tonight it's gonna be the loneliest Part of me, a part of me that will never be mine. So be it. Tonight is gonna be the Yeah.
Now, I think that married very well, and I'll tell you why I think it married very well, everybody. Simply because, if you look at the video, it's a guy in his own, thinking in thoughts, very deep, trying to hold on to something, and drowning his sorrows, and in deep thought. I think it really did the song justice. The intro says, you'll be the saddest part of me, a part of me that will never be mine. It's obvious. Tonight is going to be the loneliness. You're still the oxygen I breathe. I see your face when I close my eyes. It's torturous. Tonight it's going to be the loneliness. First one says there's a few lines that I've wrote in case of death. That's what I want. That's what I want. So don't be sad when I'll be gone. It's just one thing I hope you know. I loved you so. Because I don't even care about the time I've got left here. The only thing I know is that I want to spend it with you, with you, nobody else. Tonight is going to be the loneliness. I feel here it's about Damo singing trapped in his emotions or, you know, our emotions when we read the lyrics, when you think of it, knowing that tonight will be the loneliest night. And despite the pain, the person they're addressing is still the oxygen they breathe. The one who haunts their thoughts, even when, they're, when they close their eyes. And I feel here, Damio contemplates the fragility of life and expresses a desire to spend whatever time they have left with that person. Now, if we go into the, sec the chorus and then the second verse, it says, You'll be the saddest part of me, a part of me that will never be mine. It's obvious. Tonight is going to be the loneliness. You're still the oxygen I breathe. I see your face when I close my eyes. It's torturous. Tonight is going to be the loneliness. And verse 2 says, I'm sorry, but i got to go. If you'll ever miss me, give this song another go. And I just keep on thinking how you made me feel better. And all the crazy little things that we did together. In the end, in the end, it doesn't matter if tonight is going to be the loneliness. Because, as he repeats, you're the saddest part of me. A part of me that will never be mine. It's obvious. Tonight is going to be the loneliness. Because you're still the oxygen I breathe. I see your face when I close my eyes. It's torturous. Tonight is going to be the loneliness. And I feel what it is, is developing apologies for needing to leave. Assuring us who's watching, who's listening to the lyrics. And to... Even the lyrics is kind of biographical of how they feel. And that's why that video in the end, when he receives the letter, is it a letter to himself? Who knows? But he, he wants to leave a letter. That if they ever miss them, that they should listen to this song again. They're reflecting on how this person made them feel better and reminisce all about the crazy little things they did together. And ultimately, they conclude that none of it matters in the end, if tonight is the loneliness night. Now, the repetition of the phrase, Sara la parte qui tristi de me, you'll be the saddest part of me, emphasizes that emotional impact and significance of this person's presence in the singer's life. Not being able to fully possess this person adds to the feeling of loneliness and longing. The mention of seeing their face when they close their eyes only highlights, I feel, the lingering effect the person has on the singer's thoughts and heartbreak that it causes. Because when it, when it goes out of the song, it says, you'll be the saddest part of me. It's a part of me that'll never be mine, it's obvious. Tonight's gonna be the loneliness. You'll be the saddest part of me. A part of me that'll never be mine. It's gonna be the loneliness. You're still the oxygen I breathe, and I see your face when I close my eyes. It's torturous that tonight's going to be the loneliness. For me, overall, this song conveys, conveys a sense of intense emotional attachment and the pain that comes with it, as well as the struggle to find solace and companionship in the midst of loneliness. It happens to us all. If you're in that position, I wish you well, that you're able to step forward, 
move out of the darkness to the light, whatever that may be. But just trust me on one thing, the light comes to us all. Loneliness is a part of relationships. You can be in a relationship and you can be the one that projects a happy-go-lucky type and your partner the distant and quiet type. And in the end, two opposites, they say, attract. But sometimes they don't. And when they don't, you feel lonely in the relationship. And there's nothing worse. And my advice, get out of it. Save your mental, everything that you can mentally and put it into yourself and rebuild yourself. But learn to walk away. Thanks for listening. Thanks, Maniskin. Another fabulous ballad to my collection of reactions. Take care for now, everybody.